Hello again, good people of the internet. My name is Shelly, and I'm working on a camper renovation. This video is going to show the second half of my $500 renovation of a 2017 Palomino Palomini camper. It's 16 feet long, super small, super cute, and exactly what I want, uh, except for the style, which is circa 2005. Campers are always at least 15 years behind the times. That's that's my theory. So in this video, I'm going to finish doing all the painting. I'm going to work on the entryway. I'm going to finish all the little touches that are needed. Maybe do a shelf. Maybe some wallpaper. We'll see. So let's get working. First things first, finish up the painting. that I'm not painting the area around the windows because I'm planning to do some wallpapering there. You can see the contrast there. And here's after that coat. And I decided to paint the ceiling as well because it was kind of a yellowish brown. Here's the next coat. There's a lot of painting involved in renovating a camper. As you can see, it's starting to really brighten up the place. Painter's tape is not perfect. There are a couple little places where it leaks down a little bit, but as long as it isn't the primer, you can usually scrape off any little drips with your fingernail. Here's my design process. It's very high-tech. It involves me throwing pieces of fabric around and seeing what looks good next to each other. Love the pillow. Pillow has to stay. The black and white is actually my shower curtain from inside, but I thought, you know, if it looked really good, I would potentially be willing to give it up for the good of the camper. And of course, I have to at least consider drop cloth, my very favorite thing. I decided to do something a little different for the bottom cushions. I repurposed a fitted crib sheet. And for the top cushions, I purchased some fabric from Joann's in a cool southwestern -y vibe print. And I sewed little covers for the cushions with my sewing machine. There's a safety sticker on this cabinet right here that I wanted to be able to cover up for aesthetic reasons when desired. So I put in a little gold hook and hung a mesh bag for produce and such that I got from Hobby Lobby. Next, I worked on the curtains. I kind of made my own curtain rods by using wooden dowels and these little metal bracket things, which are actually for securing pipes to walls. I got them in the plumbing section. So I spray painted them black and I screwed them into the side of the camper with extremely short screws. I've done it in my previous camper and this camper and nothing's ever poked through the side. Just use really shallow ones. And I didn't get a video of this, but I measured and sewed little rectangular panels that are the exact size of each window out of drop cloth. Next task is to put up a hook rail onto the backsplash. I got this hook rail from Ikea, and these hooks were from Amazon, but I already had them from my brief attempt at a craft fair business. is the new dinette table.
Now let's make a replacement valence for above the door. As you can see, there's a little gap between the wall and the door frame. So first I made a template by pushing this piece of butcher paper into the door. And I decided to make a template out of a thin little piece of wood before cutting the real wood. And I didn't show this, but I cut the template down to size, making sure it fit perfectly. And then I started cutting the actual piece of wood, which again is edge glued pine, the exact same stuff that I used on the tabletop, except it's a thinner version. Here I'm tracing the template, and then I cut it out with the jigsaw. I noticed it was a little too long, so I had to trim it with the jigsaw actually several times to get it to fit in. It finally fit after some light slams. Ta-da! Hey, remember when I painted this wall white to my right here? Now it's time to hang the wallpaper on the unpainted walls right next to it. Thank you for your patience during all of that voiceover. I got a lot more done that way, so I think I'm going to sprinkle that into my future videos because, oh, does it make things easier. Anyway, here's where we're at today. Let me show you. We have big messes everywhere. wallpaper is done. There are a couple parts that aren't super great because I had just barely enough, but those will be covered hopefully by the mattress and pillows. Fingers crossed that you can't really tell when it's all said and done.